In a new interview with Revolver Magazine, Godsmack's frontman Sully Ernest spoke about the time he asked Rush's drummer Neil Peart to guest star on a song he had written. The song in question was called Serenity, and Erna, being a huge Rush fan, was inspired by the drummer's 2002 book called Ghost Rider Travels on the Healing Road. The book documents the drummer coming to terms with the deaths of his wife and daughter, who passed away one year apart. Peart would take a motorcycle trip along the Pan American Highway as a way to cope, and Erna would tell MTV, The book is so amazing. He jumped on his motorcycle and within 14 months, drove 55,000 miles across the world. His experience about healing himself on the road inspired me to write this dark tribal song. Serenity would appear on Godsmack's third album, Faceless, and would be released as a single. It was around 2002 or 2003 during the recording of the album that the band was in Miami working at Criteria Studios. Rush happened to be in town playing a gig and Erna would tell Revolver Magazine. Neil's assistant reached out to my assistant at the time. He's like, hey, we're in town. We know you guys are fans of the band and Sully always talks about Neil and he'd love to have you guys at the show. Upon meeting Erna, who had already penned the lyrics to Serenity, showed them to Peart and asked him if he might be interested in playing drums on the track. The drummer politely declined with Erna telling Revolver. He said, you'll see one day when you're well into your 50s that when you're on break, you're on break. And once this is done, I'm going to be taking some time off. And now I get it because I'm in my 50s. The pair would still remain friends until the drummer passed away from cancer in early 2020. Upon hearing the news, Erna would recall, when I got the call, it was like a big part of my life ended there too. Because, you know, he was a tremendous influence. I can't even articulate how much the guy meant to me and how big of an inspiration he was and an influence on me being a musician. He was one of the everything people in my life. The Serenity would be released as a single and peak at number 7 and 10 on the mainstream and modern rock charts. And even had crossover appeal peaking at number 13 on the bubbling under Hot 100 singles charts. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in Rock Country Stories. Take care.